House Bill 800 by Representative Boye provides for the calling of a limited constitutional convention for the purpose of framing a new constitution to fix time and place for the convention, provide for delegates, organization, staff, provide for the constitution as adopted to be submitted to qualified electors, provides relative to delegates, staff, funding, and proposed changes. And Mr. Speaker and members, on behalf of the Bureau, Representative Horton sends up technical amendment. Without objection, Rep. Boye on your bill. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Madam Clerk. I hold in my hand the Constitution of the State of Louisiana that was written in 1974. It was first put in action in January of 1975, the year that I was born. It also happens to be the year my good friend, Representative Francis Thompson, came to this body. Since that time, there's been over 200 amendments to this Constitution. The amendments have packed the pages of this book. This, this Constitution has taken away the flexibility of our legislature, flexibility that is desperately needed during budget shortfall times. Otherwise, those shortfalls are taken off the backs of higher education and health care. Next year, we are expected to face a half a billion dollar shortfall. House Bill 800 hits a refresh on this Constitution. The aim is to transition certain items currently in the Constitution into statute. Once these items are placed in a statute, they would be protected by an increased voting threshold, like we do on a lot of our, our money bills, such as a two-thirds threshold, so that they are not removed easily from statute. After the vote of the people, should it be successful, it would be status quo in Louisiana. Nothing would have changed. These items would simply be in statute. Language used in this Constitution will either be retained in the, in the new refreshed Constitution or be in, in statute with this higher voting threshold. This saves us tons of time as opposed to rewriting the entire Constitution. This, this bill will be tailored throughout the process as we agree on the scope of the process. We have taken public testimony and will continue to take public input as we progress. We have been very thoughtful and very deliberate about this process to ensure the public voices have been heard. We have already come to an agreement that Articles 1 through 4 will be retained in our refreshed Constitution. Articles 2 through 4 deal with the distribution of powers and the establishment of government. Article 1 is our Declaration of Rights. It's a right to due process, right to individual dignity, right to property, right to privacy, freedom from intrusion, right to free expression, right to religion, right to vote, right to keep and bear arms, freedom from discrimination and right to a fair trial, amongst others. We have been thoughtful, as I mentioned, about this process. We have been listening to the voices of the people of the state of Louisiana. We have another amendment that we'd like to further illustrate, illustrate our sincerity in the deliberation of this process. Members, I'd like to introduce an amendment to House Bill 800 at this time. And Madam we also have a technical amendment as well. Madam Clerk. Representative Boyer offers up amendment set 4004. Rep. Boyer and your amendment. Can we take up the technical amendment first? Okay, it's taken up already. So members, amendment set 4004 does three things. 
It protects our homestead exemption in the Constitution, which is something that we heard in public input and through testimony that this was important to the people of Louisiana. Home ownership is the fabric of our society, and this is something that everyone has asked us to protect. And it also protects the MFP formula for our education system to keep this in our Constitution as well. The third thing it does that we heard in testimony is it removes the, the, the language in there that allows for private funding in this convention. Our convention is not for sale. Our convention has never been for sale. Language in this bill was used, as was in previous bills, for the convention to allow for this to happen in the case of shortfalls, but that will not be needed. So members, I open up to questions on the amendment, but I ask for final passage of those amendments. Any questions on the amendment? Any objections to the adoption of the amendment? Hearing no objections, the amendments adopted back on the bill. All right. Mr. Speaker, as we have done through this process and done with this bill, we want, we want you to consider these amendments that we have just adopted to House Bill 800. I'd like to at this time give notice to return the bill to the calendar. Without objection. And hear it for Tuesday, May 7th, 2024. Without objection.